This is my ship. Think you could just walk on in and be left alive? Are you getting this? Loud and clear. I'm in. Full access. This is the sort of momentum we could never create on our own. We need to maintain that momentum. Surely, if the Revanites are done with the Nova Blades, as Revan indicated, they're on to the next stage of their plan. There'd better be something in the Nova Blades files that sheds some light on what Revan's doing with those hyperspace routes. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm starting to feel like flying blind is the new normal. While Theron's pulling down data, I suggest you start to make your way back to Raider's Cove. Hopefully he'll have found something of use by then.
perfect tools and a fine hunt. Better than I could accomplish. The honors of our world are yours. My droid. You've got my droid. He was... We were mapping unexplored space. Rishi was our resupply point. What have we learned from the aggressor? Very little, I'm afraid. It would appear someone took it upon themselves to corrupt much of the data as a last resort. It's a real mess, getting fragments but nothing incredibly coherent. But one thing that does keep turning up is the Mandalorian Margot brought up earlier, the one they call Torch. What about her? Well, it looks like Torch and Margok were thick as thieves for a while, then something happened. It had to do with the Revanites. Don't really know the details, but it looks like Torch moved her whole clan to another island here on Rishi. I've got the coordinates. What's the matter, Theron? Am I being around so distracting you need to hurry me off to some other island? <laughs> You're not entirely wrong. I'm sending Jakaro out on a scouting run. I've made local arrangements for your transportation should he not return in time. Well, you've been busier than I thought. Get whatever information you can from the Mandalorians. With any luck, they'll lead us to the Revanites. Warning. Adequate encryption has not been verified. Transmission interception is possible. Please confirm identity. I'm authorized only to speak with the Red Blade. This is the Red Blade. You want to tell me what's going on? Master Blade, I am to inform you that your loyal associate, Jeek, awaits you at the attached coordinates. Please proceed with all appropriate haste. Also, welcome back to Rishi after your long sojourn on Hata.
You're now two meters inside an Umbaran jamming field. If I've pressed the right buttons, we should have adequate privacy. I received your message for the Red Blade. Yes, perhaps a bit obvious, but I thought your pirate cover appropriate given the circumstances. So how is independence suiting you, Agent? No one to answer to or interfering with your decisions? I didn't expect we'd ever meet again. I'm glad you called. I appreciate the sentiment, but I'm sure you understand if I'm not here to socialize. How are you even alive? As it turns out, there was concern that I had arranged for certain documents to be released in the event of my death. Instead of execution, I was granted early retirement. Sounds very straightforward. Very. I assure you, however, I am no longer involved. I've come only to ask you a personal favor. Everything I have is at your disposal. No questions asked. Name the job. Shara Jen, the former keeper and watcher too. Go on. After the Star Cabal's dissolution, Shara was unwell. The damage to her brain from the Cabal's trap had been considerable. I remember her medical droid. She had trouble speaking. Add to that her conditioning. She was programmed for loyalty, and we had her working a rogue operation. That aggravated her existing cognitive and psychogenic trauma. She's fortunate she didn't become a vegetable. During Lord Malgus's uprising and the chaos that followed, she was unable to protect herself. What happened? She was captured by the Republic. I intend to free her. I'm guessing we're not on Rishi to attack Bell Service Prison. How do we get to her? I've made arrangements already. She was carbonite frozen and placed aboard a prison transport, which was then raided by pirates. And now the raiders have brought their cargo to Rishi. Precisely. The final step is to retrieve the body and erase all evidence. No one can know what happened. I intend to negotiate Shara's purchase from the raiders. While I do, I need you to provide leverage and cover our trail. It won't be a problem. What kind of leverage am I providing? To begin with, I suggest you slice the raiders' data banks and transmit their files to me. That should facilitate negotiations. I'm sure they've made indiscretions we can use. And after that? You'll have the frequency to listen in. You know how this works. You'll find what I need. We can rendezvous here once I've acquired the Carbonite. All right. Let's bring Shara home. Understood. Ah, you must be Trade Master Cavork of the Red Media Consortium. Yes. And you are a little human who wishes to trade. I understand. Ah. You are glad I should get dead. You're dead, me. Just don't expect us to pay extra. Maybe we sell it all back to the Republic. 
Well, I'm sure I can find a reason. I'm done deleting evidence, sending files shortly. Sending now. Why should we not send to the Republic? For one thing, I have files right here showing you destroyed a Republic transport last year. What? Video evidence from your own ship. How you get this? It fell into my hands. I'm sure there's more where that came from. Uploading files now. I see you've also had financial difficulty. You lie! Oh, I don't believe so. You've racked up quite a debt to some trombosian pirates. Does your crew know you've been gambling? Maybe I make sure you don't tell. Well, maybe I can do you a favor. By the time we're finished here, your creditors will be gone. Not possible. Maybe I prefer you gone. Over the course of this conversation, 
What do you suppose they can do to you? All right, we sell carbonite prisoners. It's been a pleasure doing business. How are you feeling? I've been thawed from carbonite, pierced by 25 needles, and injected with something I can only describe as liquid humiliation. I'm pleased you're doing well. I'm right. Did you tell me? I can see stars. Am I on a spaceship? Yes, you are. You're safe and you're going to be better soon. Don't condescend to me. My apologies. If you'll excuse me. Hold transmission, silence audio. You said we'd all meet back here. Yes, I lied. She's on her way to a private medical facility. I couldn't be sure you'd approve. We both have her best interests at heart. Or am I wrong about that? No, I suppose not. Shara will be cared for in secret by a group of richly compensated medics and scientists. In a very slow and regrettably painful process, the damage to her brain will be repaired and her loyalty programming undone. You can do that? There are no guarantees. My people say it should be possible. When she is free, I have advised her not to rejoin the Empire's service and to make a life away from conflict. She's never had that chance before. After we defeated the Star Cabal, I could have escaped too. You advised me to keep working for the good of the Empire. You signed up to join Imperial Intelligence. You kept fighting after everything that happened. You made choices to continue on your terms. She never did. I'm giving her that chance. Talk to her if you like. Say your goodbyes. Shara, do you recognize me? Are you concerned about hibernation blindness or the brain damage? Of course I recognize you. The minister, former minister, says you helped me. I don't want to do this, Cypher. I don't want them to decondition me. You don't have to be scared. You're not a prisoner. Say the word and I'll talk to the minister. I do have to be scared. The Empire altered my limbic system. I'm sorry I haven't been there for you, Cypher. Everything else just got in the way. And I'm all right, I am. I just don't know who I'll be without. You'll be the same woman I've admired all this time. The same woman I'd cross the galaxy to protect. And I thought I'd be the one protecting you. Shara. It's enough. Stay and talk for a little while. I believe our business is done. I have a retirement to get back to, and while I don't expect we'll meet again, I believe I've said that before. Retired or not, you're going to watch over that woman. You'll see to it that she recovers, and you'll make sure no enemies find her after. She's going to live a very peaceful life. Yes, she will. But don't underestimate her either. There is one other thing, by the way. I may be out of the game, but you're not. I heard rumors intelligence is on the verge of reforming at last. Darth Marr wants you to advise and oversee. Independent, but with full access. Darth Maar considers my independence to be treason. 
Yes, but you'd be a check against any Sith who'd use intelligence for their own schemes. A new agency will need new personnel to replace those lost. I have files with potential recruits. Untraditional, but highly skilled. What kind of untraditional recruits? Military deserters, terrorist sympathizers, and Malgus's alien insurgents. All of them believers in a better empire. I'm always glad to have resources. But I'm not making any decisions right now. Don't delay too long. I've heard rumors of new threats. But as I said, I'm out of the game and the files are yours. Watch for enemies within and without. Everything is on you now, and you know the stakes for civilization. Please use all products only as intended. Well... 